it's the organization for me a lot of jaw dropping moments i'm just trying to soak it all in hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome this is boss vision where i share with you all everything you need to know about making candles Video. I'm so excited to be sharing with you all another candle business review. Yes, guys. So this week we are reviewing Cali Meets NYC. Funny story. I followed her for several months on Instagram. Had no idea that she was a subscriber. So hey, girl. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You said you've been here since I was living in the apartment and once I first got it started in terms of launching. So. Thank you so much for watching me, that's amazing. And I saw your whole story and I love all of your reels. I think that you post them on TikTok and then you put them on Instagram. And they were so hilarious, talking about how we are the marketing team, the shipping and handling, the customer support, we do it all. <laughs> so definitely looking forward to unboxing your candles here. I mean, this is amazing. Like just as we can start with your packaging, I love this huge stamp. It looks like you definitely took the time out to get a more professional and aesthetically pleasing stamp here. It's huge. And it looks like you did ship with Shippo, which is a great and cost effective solution in terms of sending items out with USPS because a lot of times you'll ship out with just USPS priority and they'll be charging an extra two to three dollars where you can save with like Shippo or Pirate Ship. And I'll put those links down below if you guys want to try them out. If you're just starting out and want to make sure you get the lowest rate. So, girl, you are already on the right track. So it looks like you're from New Jersey. How amazing. Thank you so much for, you know, sending over your package. And I'm definitely looking forward to unboxing it. So, yeah, definitely stay tuned for the video. If y'all do like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And definitely subscribe so you don't miss out anything else that I post. All right, let's just jump right into it. This amazing box, the first thing you see is a beautiful white tissue paper with a gold thank you. Oh my God, and then another large brand here with Cali Meets NYC. And it says, thank you for supporting my small business. How beautiful is that? I love the aesthetic. I love that it looks so professional in terms of the, the gold is just shining through the lamp. Like, this is beautiful. So right when you open up the package, Trying to be careful here because this is girl, you did that. Okay, so let's pull it. Carefully open up the package. You'll see it says artesian made room sprays, candles, and wax melts. Go off, okay? So then we'll see this beautiful wooden slab with room sprays. How gorgeous! Palo Santo, cotton blossom, sandalwood, peony and patchouli, lavender, yin and yang tobacco vanilla wow and you make it with virgin coconut soy that's awesome i was i did the wooden wick wax discovery kit and i was considering the virgin coconut soy but for some reason i just went with coconut apricot cream it just had my heart but the virgin coconut soy is amazing and you know soy is a very great market to sell so it looks like you put clean burning candles, paraben free, phthalate free, and cruelty free. Brilliant. It is so smart to incorporate all of those items just to ensure that your clients know they're getting a product that is eco-friendly. So I love that you put, oh, this is beautiful. So this is not a candle care card. This is more of a like about me card. It says Cali Meets NYC. This is a love letter through home fragrance inspired by a love story she lived in the bay area of cali he lived in nyc queens to be exact our mission is simple to spread self-care one candle at a time we know that sometimes it can be hard to relax these days oftentimes the work week is filled with anxiety and coffee is driving it and all the days just seem like they're blurring together trust me we've been there too sometimes taking a little time out of your day is all you need that's where we come in that is beautiful. So just in terms of that, it's so amazing your story. I wonder, okay, so the Bay Area of Cali. Are you from Cali and you met, um, I guess, your boyfriend in New York? Curious to learn more about that story, which we'll take a look at your social media as well as your, um, 
I mean, we should look at your Instagram. I think that that would be inspiring to other candle business owners. I'm actually gonna share your Instagram too because your reels are just phenomenal. And something I've learned recently that I wanted to share with everyone here, our audience here, is that the power in video is phenomenal. If you haven't seen my 10 things I wish I would have done when I started a candle business video, I would say just click this link right here, it'll take you straight to it. In that video, I went into detail just regarding the fact that, you know, it's really tough to actually own a business and market it because you just post something with those tags we think that people are gonna search and nobody clicks on it because they're literally I mean, it's too hard to see. It's a highly saturated market, but reels get exposed to everyone. I know firsthand from TikTok when I was last year, I remember I was unemployed and I was um, just making TikToks. And for some reason, I acquired 13,000 followers just from posting lip syncs on TikTok, just lip syncing. And it's just so quick how quick it happened because on any other platform, you'll post a, a picture and it may get some traction, but unless you have something, a product of value in the photo, you're unlikely to get that. So just with reels, it doesn't matter. It's just, if you post it with a trending song, you have a chance of reaching thousands. So yeah, we're definitely gonna take a look at her website and her, her Instagram because she posts these reels that are just ugh, very eye-catching. I think she got a lot of views, so yeah. Or you got a lot of views. I'm saying she like this is not for you. This is for you, girl. And then the next thing we see is a thank you card. How beautiful is that? It's the organization for me. It's the intent for me. So just with the thank you card, we pull that out. Oh my god. Okay, so we'll get to that in a second. But the thank you card is beautiful, beautifully made, as you all can see. And on the back, it also has her candle care instructions. On the thank you, it says, we truly appreciate your purchase. Each candle and melt is hand poured with love and made in small batches. We hope you love them just as much as we enjoy creating them. Candle care, follow the tips below to make the most of your candle. Yeah, she puts all of the relevant information Instead of four hours, she said uh, two or more hours on first use and then use it for a maximum of four hours on each use. That is smart. Yes, makes sense. And then always use a heat resistant surface under the candle. Exactly. You know, I think you do post some social media about heat resistant uh, surfaces, but that is a primary focus. We should always be emphasizing that people should put these candles on heat resistant surfaces. That is her beautiful, amazing, the aesthetic. First of all, this is a brand kit, okay? We're gonna go back. Um, let me collect myself. This picture, this picture was very well done, okay? In terms of this picture, it definitely looks like you use a professional camera. Comment down below if you did. And um, that wood, it just is very high quality. The Everything, the room sprays, the silk behind it, the concept, the vibe, it's everything, I love it. And your thank you cards are matching it with the same gold and pink, I am in love. Okay, so next guys, as you can see, she has her beautiful bag. Yes guys, as you can see, there's this beautiful cloth here. Oh my goodness, and the packing peanuts fit perfectly around it just to secure her packages. It's like a lot of jaw-dropping moments. I'm just trying to soak it all in. So her bags are, <laughs> are custom gold. You know I'm impressed when my eye starts twitching a little bit. This custom gold just glimmering through the fabric, giving very much commercial value, very much, uh, you know, luxury oh it's not it's not on a piece of paper that looks like it was ironed on i wouldn't be surprised if she just took some gold from africa smashed it up and stamped it in here anyways let's open these up and see what we got here open this one up okay this beautiful fabric here i am dying wow so it feels expensive Comment down below, girl. What would you, I mean, highly impressed. Comment down below what you guys think of this. This is wild, like, so beautiful. Wow, wow. So let's open this up. <laughs> and her candle is completely carefully placed in a bubble wrap, which is perfect. 
Um, in terms of that. So yeah, it is glass candles that uh, incur heat resistance. So I wonder what Bath & Body Works goes through every day. <laughs> but yeah, the first candle we got is this Spicy Cacao Tobacco Blossoms Creamy Vanilla. Just wow. This candle is beautiful, oh my goodness. So you are using the Libby jars. I did start out with these jars for the healing collection before I went into um, using the different jars that have the, the raised bottom. I started using this, this one from Libby. But I definitely love this one. This brings back great memories just because this is the candle that got my candle sold at stores, this uh, vessel. They definitely love the uh, aesthetic. And I love how you're using this beautiful copper. It is so unique. I actually have never seen anyone else using this one. Most people just use black or silver or white, but you chose copper and it's perfect. It's almost like a bronze for like luxury. It's just amazing. And it's great that you use these vessels because they're very cost effective while still offering a, a luxury aesthetic. And your label, okay, Cali Meats NYC, Lux Coconut Soy Wax Candle, beautiful. 08401, I believe that is a zip code, so we'll have to look into that and understand what that is. Or, I don't know if it's a zip code, we'll just have to understand it. Uh, I don't think a, a zip code starts with a zero, but we'll see what it actually is. And then it's a spicy cacao, tobacco blossoms, creamy vanilla. So to me that sounds like more cacao, I thought it was like a, a cocoa powder root and then tobacco blossoms. It's kind of like a smoky scent, I imagine, with vanilla, creamy vanilla. So I'm looking forward to it. And she has this beautiful, creamy, um, this beautiful vanilla on the logo. It seems like a lot of people are taking a picture of vanilla and incorporating it. I believe there's also like tobacco beside it, wow, or cacao beside it. Very nice. Hand poured in Newark, New Jersey, and a net weight of 9.5 ounces and 270 grams. Beautiful. It's phenomenal how you incorporate all of this information here, um, just in terms of that. I see you do run into the same scenario with getting a white label onto glass. It is a bit of a hassle, so that can be air bubbles. Uh, what I usually do is start from the left corner. That helps me just, and then just smooth it out with a credit card. But um, just something you could do in the future. I'm just in love with this by the way so we're definitely on the right track it looks like you do use the warning labels um i got these something similar to this from candle science i wonder if you got them from candle science comment down below if you did definitely in love with the formality of that you just have the standard instructions regarding burn within sight keep away from flammable objects and keep away from children and pets so you're on track there so let's just open this up Girl, wait. Oh my God, that smells good. So it, it it almost smells like you mixed two fragrances or three. The cacao, tobacco blossoms, creamy vanilla. It, it's giving like a very warm cocoa butter yet vanilla. Just phenomenal, I love this scent. Wow, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it just smells good, <laughs> you know? It's like a cocoa butter, a, like a smoky cocoa butter scent. Like this is really good. Single wicked coconut soy, yes girl. So I see you did achieve a smooth top, which is standard with coconut soy. That's why I really urge people to, you know, blend with coconut wax because honestly, soy wax is phenomenal, but in terms of smooth tops, consistency, coconut wax is the way. So just having a happy balance between coconut and soy is amazing because you do get that amazing burn and hot throw from soy and having that amazing, that paired with coconut is just phenomenal. So yeah, definitely looking forward to burning this. I'm just like kind of speechless at the, wow, that smells good. Girl, yeah, you did that. <laughs> All right, let's see what the next one smells like. Another amazing bag. Girl, this is a brilliant idea to do these bags. I think it's just a wonderful aesthetic. And that the, the box is like a mailer. Yes, that is amazing. 
I would definitely, if I was a customer, I would look forward to purchasing from you just for the experience of these packages, you know? And that's the thing. Like, we, we as camera business owners, we wrestle with the idea of ordering custom packaging. But honestly, it really sells itself. It really pays for itself in terms of actually getting repeat customers and building those relationships. So, yes, girl, you did that right. I want to call you Callie, but I know your name's not Callie. So, we'll find out what your real name is on your website or on your Instagram. This, I can smell this one from here. Mm, it smells almost like a, a clean baby. <laughs> mm, I'm looking forward to this one too. I wonder what this one is. Wow, okay. So this is her 10035 Papaya Cream De Cassis Vanilla Sweet Cream. This is phenomenal, oh my God. I, this is strong. I could smell it before I even opened it. That was crazy. Yeah, so I definitely smell the papaya, uh, vanilla, and sweet cream. Wow, that is amazing. Yes, girl, you did. This is like a, a citrus vanilla scent that I think that people would die. Like, this is a long time. This is year round a good scent. This is something you would smell more of in you know, like a spa night, you put this in your bathroom, or if you wanted to have it in your, you know, living room, if you had somebody over, this is just amazing. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that smells good. Okay, so I'm highly impressed with the cold girl. I'm really looking forward to burning this, I'm just deciding whether or not I want to burn them both at the same time. I don't think it would hurt. Uh, just to understand what the hot girl is like for each and see if I can provide any insight in any way there. I just want to say before we get you know any further that you have mastered the art of branding as well as making sure that your business is cost effective because you're using a cost effective solution that looks high quality like it's luxury in terms of this bronze color here no one would even know that these are very um easy to purchase like it's not um to me i look at that lid and be like okay this costs a lot of money and you're actually gaining a profit there so really happy for you there just brilliant i feel like i'd love to learn more about what you did in terms of your branding and your brand kit and everything is working seamlessly together. Okay guys, so we are now in my office and I just wanted to go ahead and light this candle to see how everything performs. This office is about the size of a normal bedroom, so that's that'll give you the idea of how large the room is that I'm lighting it in. And yeah, I put it on a pedestal here. This is what I do my other reviews, just in terms of a heat resistant surface and girl, it's so beautiful. It's a very nice aesthetic. This is giving, a very nice vibe for us here. So let's just go ahead and light this up. Beautiful. Okay, awesome, so. I'm just gonna give this about an hour to burn and I'll check back in with you guys and we'll see how the melt pool is as well as the hot throw. All right, so the first thing you see when you see her amazing website, it's CallieMeetsNYC.co. Uh, so we have a .co here and initially the first thing you see is free shipping on orders over $50 and there's a pop-up to subscribe and get 10% off. So you did power that by Postscript, that is awesome. And I love how it just comes up. And in terms of your brand, it, it's very marketable regarding how you have the A and you know, without a uh, line through it and then the meats is not bold. It's just very beautiful, it's unique to me. It reminds me of like something I would see in Forever 21 or some very nice, store in california or new york you know just regarding maybe something i would see maybe in urban outfitters yes it definitely reminds me of that i love how you have that pop-up in regard to 
what people are purchasing that is phenomenal see it says five days ago cheryl purchased honey and green tea i love that that is brilliant and I, I purchased from dreamvessels.com and they also have that pop up and it's insightful regarding what other people have and in terms of online shopping we're always looking for reviews and even having that since that someone else purchased this recently gives us that insight into hmm, maybe this is something I should buy. I found myself even in person trying to decide between products. If I see that one product actually is um, it's the last one and the other ones are like fully stocked, I'll prefer to get the last one. It's just I don't know. Something goes on psychologically. But yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, and just in terms of your shop, I love the aesthetic. Every picture is beautifully done in terms of your products are all in white backgrounds. Um, it looks like you did use more of a, a clear, clean approach in terms of that without any extra items behind them, which is brilliant. And I love that you incorporate this sheet or wool I think that that's a very nice touch for your uh, room sprays I think that this is a brilliant idea to incorporate room sprays because a lot of people want something to keep the aroma going even when their candles aren't lit you know just if you have someone coming over within like an hour and you want your house to smell really fresh you might spray a room spray because you don't want to just have a candle burning and it just enhances the candle so I love that I think there's a brilliant idea definitely want to get into your about page so it says locally made in new york newark new jersey and hand poured with love i love that my mom's actually from new brunswick new jersey so that's phenomenal we used to go there every summer so it says we're an everyday luxury home fragrance brand curating artesian made candles wax melts and room sprays cali meets nyc is inspired by how i met the love of my life perfect i was curious if it was your story that's beautiful when we met, I lived in the Bay Area of Cali, and he lived in NYC, Queens to be exact. This is a love letter through fragrance from both cities and some places in between. All our candles are made with a luxury coconut soy wax with a cotton wick creating clean burning candles. This premium blend has exceptional adhesion for container candles and makes the perfect base for our complex, complex fragrance blends. Wonderful. I love this picture, by the way, with the amazing aesthetic in terms of the green and the wood there and the beautiful flower. That is phenomenal. So it says, our candles are free of paraben and phthalates. We are eco-driven and cruelty-free. I love that. That is a great marketable tool to use. I'm just glad we understand more about your you know, goals here. It looks like your mission is uh, to spread self-care one candle at a time. I love that. Clean burning coconut soy candles made with complex fragrance oil blends. Oh, so you're Melissa. Yes, I knew your name was Melissa. I remember from watching your reels on Instagram. So you've been making candles since you were 12. That's phenomenal. And just in terms of that, wait, let's, we can't skip over that. You've been making candles since you were 12 years old. <laughs> Explain yourself. Like, so did your parents? Okay. So your maternal grandmother helped you. Wow, very interesting. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not reading through it, but you guys can read the screen. I'm just like adding in, you know, more of a commentary on it. Wow. So av advertising design. Yes, I can see why an MA in fashion journalism. I think that anyone, like if I could tell myself in high school what to do, I would say you need a degree in marketing. You need a degree in marketing and like um, a minor in business management nobody tells us the importance of that having those two even if you are an entrepreneur you need to understand how everything runs so that you can actually build generational wealth because a lot of times we're just working to work like you're working to pay your bills you're working to pay for food you're working to buy some material you're never working just because you love it so just having uh, an awareness of finances and, you know, accounting gives you that insight into the fact that you don't have to suffer. You don't have to suffer each day and you can actually live, live happy. So in terms of your mission and your about me, this is beautiful. I just love that you incorporate the fact that this is self-care. That is very unique. A lot of people just call it aromatherapy. 
But for your candles to be self-care, that is quite a market to go after. And I definitely think it will get you very far in the studio. So I've never seen an in the studio on someone's website. So I love how you incorporate a scent glossary of your signature candle collection. That is phenomenal. I actually was interested in buying a marble um, a marble container like this. I think marble tray that's what i meant yeah a marble tray because this this is really helpful you know to be realistic and, and i'm really curious to learn more about these numbers are are these zip codes i just have to go back to your about to see if there's zip codes i kind of skimmed through there so it doesn't say there but i'm sure on your instagram there is insight which we're actually going to go to her instagram guys because that's really where i know her from and it says, do you love the way fragrances blend together? Do you know what each of them smells like? What about their names? If not, this is an article for you. We'll be discussing how to identify the top, middle, and base notes uh, in fragrance. Wow, that's amazing. So you have a blog. I'd say keep going. It looks like you only have one post. Yeah, do not stop with that. That's something people actually read when they come to your website. They want to learn more about your ideas. So yeah, keep going with that. In terms of your candle care tips, I love that you said when lighting the candle for the first time, all of the relevant insights into, you know, preventing any dangerous scenarios. And it's great that you have a contact us page. Uh, oh, perfect. I was just going to say, do you have wholesale? And you do have wholesale on the bottom. Super important to incorporate that, especially with your aesthetic and the fact that you're using uh, vessels that you can order in bulk. So yes, girl, that is a brilliant idea. I love that you, you even have a shop wholesale link. That is phenomenal. Supplier, you could. Okay, so it looks like something's going on with your link. I'd say just, you know, since we're looking at it together, that you probably just need to go into your Handshake account and see why it's not coming up. Yeah, just so you can keep those um, wholesale inquiries coming but yeah i love your website it looks like you okay you did do a shopify site i'm in love with the aesthetic i think it's very simple yet high quality to the point um i would say it is loading a bit slow but that just is shopify regarding larger pictures i'm just very happy that you have this in the corner in terms of what people have recently purchased that definitely gives people into insight into what they should go for and the slideshow is beautiful the warm and cozy collection yeah so we have 13084 and 80801 so i want to take a look at these candles because i imagine maybe you have the explanation of why they're named by numbers on the product pages so let's see let's go to one that you sent tobacco yeah okay so i just want to say i love that they're sitting on a book that's beautiful very nice aesthetic 08401 drums up a vivid and unforgettable memory spent among bright lights okay so is this a zip code girl like comment down below i would love to know and i love okay just in terms of your products i love that you incorporate the search engine optimized title. So it says coconut soy candle. It's super important to incorporate the type of wax in your candle. I think that really helps regarding searching for your products on Google, as well as giving your customers insight early on to what they can expect. And it's just phenomenal that you put in all of these amazing details regarding emboldened with rich vanilla and spicy cacao notes. 08401 drums up a vivid and unforgettable memory spent among bright lights and toasty nights. Tobacco blossoms complete this breathtaking scent that will leave you lingering for more. Made in Newark. That's phenomenal. We create our candles with lead-free cotton wicks. I love that. We proudly create natural candles that are cruelty-free and phthalate-free. Phenomenal. And it's so amazing that you incorporated the product details regarding diameter, height, net, weight, burn time girl you went off melissa um regarding your marketing it's definitely advanced and in terms of your copywriting is picture perfect nestled next to your favorite coffee table girl that 
that's good copy writing. I'm impressed. You did that. You you got the wrong profession. Candles candles where you should be in content marketing, a <laughs> content writer. And it's amazing. You incorporate the candle care on the product. That's super important. You even have a scent glossary. Girl, this is top tier. A glossary of your scents. So it's literally where you can locate what you would want in terms of spice, sweet, tobacco, or pumpkin girl you did that i want to go to your let's go to your instagram all right so just in terms of your instagram i am highly impressed i love the fact that your logo is so marketable in terms of cmn regarding cali meets nyc and it's amazing that you incorporated the co and sort of in in terms of a corporate corporation you know that's phenomenal so cali meets nyc and you labeled it as entrepreneur it also is amazing that you put in all of your information regarding the type of candles coconut soy candles small batch made exactly that's amazing a lot of times we forget the fact that small batches makes more sense just to make sure that your candles are handled with love and i believe princess mentioned that and uh, shout out to princess if you're watching but i think that's a great note and that you mentioned wholesale and private label that's brilliant a love letter to cali and nyc subscribe for exclusive exclusive updates phenomenal with koji.com interesting i wonder what that is oh, okay so it's similar to like a link tree brilliant yes so i love that you incorporated this you are a mental health advocate. I love that I am too. I also created a blog just regarding self-help and visionofvoice.com. If you haven't checked it out, you all should check it out. And I love that you're a black-owned dope vibes. Yes, girls. This is just an amazing aesthetic. And I think it's super important for us to include all of our branding as well as where people can reach us. Just to, you know, leverage that in our businesses. So just in terms of your Instagram, I think you are doing most of the very important things and regarding um, making your page very helpful for your potential customers with your scents, behind the scenes, reviews, candle care, and your story. Girl, is that a cartoon of your face? That's really cool. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Hey, Melissa, hey. Okay, so... I can clearly see that you spent lots of time on this and took it very seriously, which is highly impressive. And it's amazing that you include more behind the scenes just regarding samples. Like, that is so cool. I, it looks like you went live. How amazing. I love that. And I love how you incorporate your product packaging as an a interesting or as an update for your your business just regarding your customers the packaging is everything girl the custom tape i love it says it smells heavenly in here that's phenomenal i don't think i, I actually didn't get that tape but yes girl that's good it's great for your customers i love that you take the time to constantly evolve your business i think you have something very strong i'm looking forward to seeing your business scale up okay guys here is the reel i was talking about really wanted to share this with you all just because this is where i knew her from so it's very unique that she um wanted to bring out her candles let's see oh how amazing you did a pop-up shop that's phenomenal I think it's this one. <laughs> Entrepreneurship life. CEO, shipper, web designer, brand coordinator, marketing, sales rep. Oh, that's me. I thought that was so funny, honestly. Like, it just speaks to what we really do every day. We're literally sitting here managing this business, being responsible for so many moving parts, and people don't get it. They're like, Okay, I just want to place an order. When's the order? When's the order ready? And like, do you understand it's just a one woman show? But yeah, it's amazing. Your story is phenomenal. So let's just see how the other candles are performing. Okay, guys, it's been about an hour. So I'm just going to go up to my office and see how the candle performed. I was waking down some vessels, so I didn't get to sit and enjoy the scent. 
So I'm looking forward to just walking in blind. I don't know what it smells like. Okay, perfect. So I'm, I'm at the beginning of the room here. As you can see, that's me. Boom, how amazing. I can smell it in the room. It's filling out the room. Wow. Okay, Callie or Melissa. I wonder if a lot of people call you Callie because you're, um, it says Cali meets NYC and they don't register the fact that it's California meets New York City. Okay, so I am getting a hot throw. It's good, it smells good. I wonder, have you ever considered double wicking? Just out of curiosity. I mean, initially when I started with this diameter vessel, I was doing single wicks. And now I cannot fathom ever doing a single wick beyond my mini tens. Just because diameter, like with your diameter, you can do two wicks and it gets you a better hot throw. So I started doing two wicks just because I know they really work. Yeah, super funny. <laughs> but I think that your candles smell great. Your wick is perfect. You guys look at this. Great scent, wick is perfect, the right wick. Just out of curiosity, would, would you ever, like, would you ever double wick it? Because I think it would enhance your, I think it would enhance your hot throw. Yeah, double wicking would certainly enhance it. I'm curious, I know you said you've been making candles for ever. So curious what your take is on double wicking and just in, in all honesty, this candle is very unique. I've never smelled anything like it ever in Bathing Body Works, any candle anywhere. This is something you would get at a very nice store like uh, Zara. I know they sell Ebony Woods candles there. I could see this being sold there or H&M. Just a very nice retailer, commercial retailer. This is commercial value, girl. You definitely did that. Every handmade candle, there is that um, challenge of hot throw. And your hot throw is great, but it's like, it could be amplified with two wicks to me. I think you're doing the right thing with regard to pouring temperature, right wax, as well as, uh, you know, just in terms of smooth tops, that's phenomenal. So as you can see, it's been an hour and a half instead of one hour, and we're not really, we haven't really gotten far. So I think, yeah, double wicking it makes it burn faster, which isn't that bad because you want them to run out of a candle, have to buy another one. And it also makes your candles have a stronger hot throw because your wax is melting quicker. And so it's just taking up more space in the atmosphere, it's just better. Honestly, all in all, I would definitely give this a 9.9 out of 10 it really is a thousand to be realistic with you i've never seen i've never seen this this was an experience i feel like you took me through an experience this wasn't a candle review this was an, a candle experience and i really enjoyed it honestly i love your vessels i love your packaging i'm in love with your story about how you met your partner and um I'm just wishing you all the best. I feel like you understand what it takes to build a brand from your previous, uh, I guess, education as well as, I guess, your intuition. And I would just say keep at it. Keep learning. Trial and error is super important with what you're doing. And the fact that you have such a marketable item, I'd say keep doing reels. Instagram reels would definitely take you far. As well as TikToks, you have it, girl. And I really enjoyed this and I think even collaborating, I think I've seen you collaborate with others, but if you collaborate with more people who are doing um, something handmade and do a giveaway, you can definitely see some really great revenue there. So I would definitely just say, keep at it. I mean, you're on the right track. I've never seen anything like this so well put together as a small business owner. Girl, you have to be tired and I just wanna commend you for how hard you've worked and what you've put together and presented and thank you so much for sending this to me melissa and i hope that my advice helps in any way just regarding you know amplifying your marketing and doing collaborations 
please comment down below what you think of her packaging her candle presentation I definitely appreciate any of your feedback you know just in terms of this I've very unique scenario with a phenomenal well-established brand and i think that to amplify that you can just keep up the momentum with your content you have everything that's aesthetically pleasing and i just wish you all the best girl i know you're gonna kill it i know you're gonna reach heights with this as long as you understand the power of um, feedback from your customers and use it to leverage or scale up your business so hope you all enjoyed this if you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe we are on our way to 20k so you guys don't miss out on anything else that i post all right i hope you all enjoy the rest of your day your week your next hour just living your purpose and love life okay bye